10 metric tons per day. I'm going to open the control panel to start everything. Up here on the top, you'll see the on and off switch. Right now, it's currently on. I'll close the thing. Now, or this way, what I'm going to do right now is identify all the tanks. This right here is 200 liters, this is diesel tank one. You kind of see through there when we rotate, you see the other one, but diesel tank two. Now right here, this is 300 liters, I'm sorry, 400 liters, and this holds the water, fresh, I mean, this is fresh water coming in. This right here holds the clean water. In the back right here, this is the first filter, and this filter right here cleans the water. So what happens is fresh water comes in, goes through the filter, gets placed in the clean water tank. This right here is the diesel filter. Intake the diesel through, uh, through these two tanks right here, goes through here, and then once, once the system starts, goes go to the emulsion tank. Right here, this tank right here is the impurity tank. All the impurities, once it's through the emulsion, uh, the emulsifier, it'll have the CO2, the sulfur, heavy metal, so it's stored in here in a gas form. Up on the top, you'll see the, the additive tank. We'll have the holes coming down for it to come in. Now these two tanks right here, this is where we storage the end fuel. Total 600 liters. Okay. Now this right here, this is the emulsion tank. This is where the emulsion takes, takes place 20 minutes. Up on the top is the motor where it stirs. Okay. This right here is the mixing tank. Once it goes through here for 20 minutes, it gets transferred into here for 5 minutes. And it mixes it and heats it a little bit more. Underneath here is where we store the nanomizer. Basically, intake right here for our tanker comes down. This is our diesel tank one right here. 200 liters. Okay. Now I'll come back over. I'll uh, I'll just quickly identify all all of the valves. These two valves serve the same purpose. You open the valves in the machine on the bottom machine's level. So you open the valves and all the dirty water, the excess water will automatically come out. We'll have the dem and we'll have the size and all that stuff later. Okay. Now, this right here, I explained this to you before, you hook a hose up to it. This is where fresh water comes in. On the machine, you'll see blue and silver. Okay? Blue, silver and blue. Blue indicates the level. It's a sensor. Silver is the temperature gauge. Automatic, turn on, turn off. Each, each of the system, each of the tanks have its own specific <coughs> temperature to be set at. And these are the sensors that identify it. Okay, now we'll come over right here. This is diesel in. Right here, this machine right here uh, will tell you recommend requirements, but this right here, you put water in it, and what this does, it cleans out and washes out all of the tank. Diesel one tank, diesel two tank, the emulsion tank, and the mixer tank. Right here, put water, it'll flush it out. As you see right here, these on and off valves. This right here is hooked up to the water tank in the back. The impurities, once everything's filled out, you open this up, it'll come out. Impurities, right here is for the diesel. Same purpose right here. This is our mold. This is our impurity tank. Right here is the nozzle to flush everything out. To the left of that is our water tank. Water in. What happens is water comes in. The impurities from the uh, emulsion tank come to this tank right here in a gas form. You put the water in it. It'll cool it. It'll turn it to liquid. So this is water in. Coming over right here. This is our this is our motor. 
basically you hook a nozzle up to this, this is the end result. This is where the end fuel comes out. Okay, this is a backup, just in case this fails, we have a backup right here. Okay, right here, I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go right here. These two, these two right here, like before you saw them on the other side, those were for water. This is for the emulsion tank, if you want to clean the emulsion tank, open these up, I'll clean it. It's on a level, so gravity will push it out on its own. Same thing with an atomizer and the other entire box underneath it to clean out the system underneath it. You pop this open, it'll come out, works through gravity, no pressure. Okay, we'll come back over here. Uh, what I uh, did not mention before in the first clip, this emulsion tank is on scale. Okay, this right here is the scale. Once operated, once operated and mounted in your facility, you open this up. Okay, when you're moving it, this is for transport, you lock this in. Okay, that's, that's basically it. We have our control. We have our 12-inch touchscreen control panel right here. And then you want to cut it, and then let me press. This is the MPU Nano Processing Control Panel. This is a 12 inch touchscreen display. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, program manually a 28% water, 70% oil, and 2% mix, M fuel. Right now we have this in, in manual right here on the left. All the way over here on the right it says automatically, automatic settings. We'll hit that. Up on the top we have to identify the water weight, oil weight, and flow set. So we'll go 28% water, 28% we'll go 70% oil, and a 2% additive. Okay, once this is complete, you go down to the bottom right, you hit close. You go all the way to the left, you hit preparation. Okay, once that's completed, you'll go to the right and you hit the start button. Automatically turn on and then automatically make your 28, 70%, 2% additive M fuel. Perfect.